Hey everybody, Jack coming back at you again. Uh, doing a little quick little video uh, here. Uh, this is my A500 and with lovely vampire card right there. And we have a SD solution right here. And there is my SD card. All that good stuff right there. And you're probably wondering, what is this cable going to? It is going to a 44 pin to 40 pin adapter to go to my CD-ROM drive. You're probably thinking, oh my god, why do you need a CD-ROM drive on a vampire? Why do you need all of that? Or what is the, what is the reasoning? Well, just because I want to. Uh, the same reason I have a GoTech. I don't want to fool with floppies. Sometimes it's easier to grab a disc of uh, a game or something like that that runs off of a disc, a, a store-bought disc, and run it off of there or install it or whatever. Uh, yeah, with the Vampire, I can mount ISOs. It's powerful enough to mount ISOs in the operating system. Whether you built your own or you use Coffin, you've got... Uh, You've got ISO mounters in there. You might not have a network uh, solution on your Vampire. If you do, uh, I do, I can transfer files over the network uh, to the Vampire and mount an ISO image if I want to and go about it that way. Nothing wrong with that at all. But if you still want a good old CD-ROM drive or you want a burn disc from the Vampire, you can do it. If you want to watch uh, a movie or a video that you have on disc, uh, an old graduation video or something like that, and you want to watch it on the Vampire, uh, on your Amiga, and say, hey, I watched my you know, kid's birthday on a Vampire. That's your choice. And you've probably noticed what this, you probably saw in the video as I'm scanning across, you're probably wondering what that is. That is so I can go a wireless keyboard so I don't have to always be in front of my keyboard all the time to use it. And how do you get a vampire to work with a CD-ROM drive? Well, first off, you need a 44 pin, two port IDE cable. So one goes here, SD card goes in the first one, your uh, our CF card solution, whatever you use for a hard drive solution, right there. And yes, mine is a 32 gig, and yes, I do fill it up. So anybody says you don't need more than that, that's your preference. Uh, you know, I do. And you'll need one of these 44 pin to 40 pin adapters, a couple of bucks on eBay. Then you'll need a regular IDE cable to go to the back of your regular. CD-ROM drive, IDE, or if you do like I do, this particular CD-ROM drive was SATA, or SATA, however you want to say it, and you put the 44, uh, the 40 pin cable into the SATA adapter and then plug the SATA adapter into the back of your Amiga. And it looks like this. Looks like this. Little SATA adapter. You can get them on eBay all day long, like seven bucks okay so we have to plug this back in and let me see if I can do it one-handed get in there I took it off now I can't get it off there we go it's back in there we go sorry about that Okay, so, got our ID drive set up. So, let's boot the Vampire. I don't have my GoTech hooked up right now. Don't need it. You'll need a power supply. You'll need a Molex, another Molex, external power supply. I'm coming off of a PC power supply, external power supply right here. Got a big red switch. And it comes across and it hooks to the back of this. Okay. Now, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to set up your cache CDFS. Now, on my OS right here, I use 
Amiga OS 3.9 with a 3.1.4 updated script with best WB. Thank you, Doug, Mr. Douglas Compton. Uh, he has a video on best WB with 3.1.4. It's great. I go one step further and put it over 3.9. So great guy. Check out his videos, Douglas Compton. But we can go into more of that at another time. If you have just Amiga OS 3.1.4 on your Vampire, or you have Coffin, the same steps apply. And you'll need to go to your workbench. You'll need to look in your devs, DOS drivers, and you'll need to see if you have a CD icon right there. If you have that icon already in there, right click on it, hit information, go to the tool types, and make sure it says Active 1, SCSI device, Unit 1. It might default to Unit 2 or 3 or 4. Change it to Unit 1, and you'll be fine. Hit Save, and you're there. If it is not, if that icon is not in there, you will need to go to Storage, and you can do this in any of the operating systems, 39314 and Coffin if you're using Coffin. Go to DOS drivers, and inside of here, you will see, which I have a duplicate there for some reason, um, you can move that over to your DOS driver. So when your system starts loading its DOS drivers, it will load up the CD. And the built-in cache CDFS in 3.9 or 3.1.4, which is done simple now, or Coffin, or if you install BestWB over 3.1.4 or 3.1 for a better experience, you'll get CDFS included with that. That's a whole nother video. Want to know more about BestWB? Please watch Douglas Compton's video. Great guy, great information. Now, if it's not, move it over and double check that icon for information and see if it does. See, this is the old one. This is the default one. It's still saying Unit 2. So if for some reason I accidentally deleted that, I can move that one over, change that unit, and over to Unit 2. So here we go. And now I'm going to take a CD. I'm going to eject the drive. I'm going to put the CD in. All right, this is a game. There we go. It's going to take it a second, spin it up. I think this is a 52X or something like that. And there we go. Popped up right there. So it pops up on your desktop. Now, after you do all of those changes, you're going to have to reboot. I forgot to tell you. You're going to have to reboot to let all of those DOS drivers uh, plug back in again. But there it is right there. Genetic species. I double click on it. You can see the access of the CD-ROM drive right there. And there we go. Use CD-libs. I can, I can run it off of this cd if i want to and i can put data whatever i want burn it to cds burn it on the pc burn it on the vampire if i want to using make cd or any other burning software for the amiga vice versa there you go that's how you put a cd-rom drive quick version how you put a cd-rom drive on a vampire cable with two ends 44 pin cable with two ends off of eBay for about 11 bucks. 44 pin adapter to 40 pin adapter, eBay about five dollars to seven dollars. A spare SATA CD-ROM drive or a spare IDE SATA, I mean a, a IDE or SATA SATA CD-ROM drive. Put it on cable select or master for the jumpers in the back, and Set your CDFS or your CDO icon, and you're good to go. Thanks. Appreciate it. See y'all next time.